you know, like a lot of people are like, well, I cut out vegetables. I feel great. Mm. What are the other sort of plant toxins that people would have to kind of consider beyond just the, the okay. obvious? You yeah. Know, okay. So the obvious ones are exogenous carbohydrate. It is toxic. Mm -hmm. Fiber. Mm. Dietary fiber is toxic, is destructive to your enteric function, is pro-inflammatory, will compromise your health at some point, probably immediately, but in some people it takes a while. Nonetheless, it will. Fiber is toxic. Oxalate you mentioned. Tannic acids, phytates, deadly nightshades, lectins. There's a whole suite of these I could go on all day. Mm. Most of them are put there by plants as a response to positive and negative selection pressures. Most of those toxins are designed to kill insects rapidly. And they do, effectively, mm. most of them. Of course, the insects respond by evolving in such a way as to have ways of dealing with that. The higher animals, most plant toxins won't kill a higher animal stone dead on the spot, pretty much. Some will still, actually. Some absolutely mm -hmm. will. Most plant toxins are not immediately fatal to a higher animal like a human being. But nonetheless, over a lifetime, which will be shorter if you, tox if you fill yourself with such toxins, they will kill you. You will go to your grave sooner than you would have otherwise done because of that toxic load. There's no two ways about that in my mind at all. Mm. You are not evolved or designed by, by evolutionary process to consume any amount of plant material whatsoever or carbohydrate or fiber. All of those things will shorten your life, will compromise your health span and will destroy your experience of the world or at least vastly reduce it. So what if I have a, a bro who comes up and says, yo, but like, what about hormesis? What about the positive stress that like when I eat these toxins, like my body has an adaptive response. I, I saw Dr. Rhonda Patrick on Joe Rogan, bro. I got to eat those broccoli sprouts, man. Yeah. yeah. Rhonda Patrick is another imbecile. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> a complete imbecile. Um, and let's face it, her only claim to fame, the only reason that she has any public profile at all is because of her friendship with Joe Rogan. Nothing to do with does she know what she's talking about, because she does not at all. Stress is indicated in life. Your body will respond to some stressors in a positive way by repairing itself and making itself better than it was before. All toxins really fall into the the old adage of it's the dose that makes the poison and all various toxins have their individual levels at which they become problematic for an individual human being that's just the way of it most plant toxins are cumulative mm. So the longer you eat small amounts of this toxin, and I'm thinking the most common one of those is oxalate. It will build up and build up and build mm. up and build up in your system until suddenly you have an amount of oxalate in your system that will tear your health down and rapidly. Because oxalate crystallizes too, right? Like it can, mm. what, are, what are some of the, the buildup effects of, of too much oxalate in someone's system? Well, the is that a kidney common... stone issue? Yeah, the most common one is kidney stones, which when you say kidney stones, people think a kidney stone is kind of a, a smooth pebble shaped thing. Oh, it's a stone in your kidney. No, they're like sharp, pointy needle crystal star shaped things. They pierce the cells of wherever they're building up. And it's not just kidneys. Oxalate can crystallize and build up in any tissue in your body, thus piercing those tissues with crystals and causing inflammation and all of that kind of stuff. Mm. Any tissue at all in your body, including, you know, I've heard of people that have oxalate issues where they have oxalate crystals forming in their eyeballs. Oh my Lord. Mm. Well, here's another real common so one. The epithelial <sighs> linings of your blood vessels. 
Mm. It's one of the most common causes of atherosclerosis, in fact. Interesting. Mm. So it's not, so it's not the saturated fat and cholesterol is what we you're know saying. It's, it's not those, that. Those that's, on, that's also unequivocal. This is not even a debate anymore. There are still people no. claiming that cholesterol and saturated fat is causal in heart disease. They are wrong. Which it is they, not. They are wrong. It is. They are unequivocally, absolutely wrong. Neither of those things cause heart disease. Not at all. Ever. <laughs> 